Welcome back to the show. And right now I'm gonna share with you a little project that you can do. We have these really cute little light bulbs in our stores right now. They're glass and we have them in two sizes. And as you can see, there is a little disclaimer sticker on them saying that they are not to be plugged into your sockets. These are just decorative pieces. And there's a lot of things you can do with them. Um, for one thing, if you have a shape like this, you know, looking at the shape, you could paint it up in black with a little white belly and he could be a little penguin. And then you could make like a little felt hat and put it on top, little beanie. And because this large size, the hole is large enough that you can stick some of those M&Ms inside. So you could use this as a little Christmas favor or a little party decoration. And then I was looking at it some more and I said, oh, you know, his shape, he could probably turn into a little reindeer moose where, you know, you put his little ears and this is his whole face. So there's going to be a few more projects that you can check out on the Joy of Crafting blog. And um, I'm just going to share with you something really easy to do. We're going to make sort of like a little photo holder because all of these has a little hole in the top that you can put the wire through. And what we did was we did some alcohol inks. So it's really easy to do. All you need to do is, of course, take off the cap and we'll work with the cap first. Now, we're going to put some wire in. You can probably just you know, stick the wire in, make some curly cues, and it'll be fine. Or if you want, you can actually thread a button and put the glue in to hold it in place. So it's up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in. So I have it coming out. And I'm just going to take my round nose pliers. And I'm just going to do some swirls. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's just going to go in there to hold it in place. And then I'm taking my chain nose pliers and I'm going to straighten it up. Now if I want it to stay even more, that's when I would take some glue. And I'm just going to quick, because this is TV, I just want to use my glue gun really fast. And get it down there. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is I made like a giant heart and you can make any shape you want. You could just do it freehand, but whatever shape you make, you want to make sure that you have one that has a tight place where you can stick your little um, photo in between like a paper clip. So right here, that's where that's going to go. Okay, so we got like this. And this is just going to be just a abstract, funky design. And right now I am using a 20 gauge wire. And you can go a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker, depending. Now, the reason why I have this one sticking out is I'm going to probably add a little few beads or something and just make this into like a little funky flower type looking thing. Similar to like how I did the heart. Over here, I can actually curl it and twirl it some more. And even if I wanted to, I could probably shape it into another heart. Or I could just continue and um, finish it off with a ribbon or something. The best part is the alcohol inks. So we get our little, our little, um, alcohol ink holder. It has the Velcro and we put our little felt little pad on top and we can get our alcohol inks. And I like to mix up a little bit of the metallic with some of it. So what you do is, this time I think I want to do, I'm going to use some cranberry and we just put it right on top there. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it kind of Christmassy. So I'm using some of the lettuce that came with it. And I'm not really putting them 
that close together because they are going to get all smushed together. And now I'm going to add some of the silver. Now you have it on the pad, and I'm just sticking to one side right now because I just want to work it one side. And all you have to do is kind of smoosh this around on your glass. The alcohol inks loves to cling to non-porous surfaces such as metal and glass. And it gives a kind of watercolor dappled look to it. And you can just do this. And the best thing about alcohol inks is if I make this and I don't like the way it came out, I can erase it with some rubbing alcohol or use the alcohol blender. If I, if I just say, ugh, what did I do? It's, it's a total mess. I can just take it all off. Now when you're doing it, a lot of times the color is really vibrant. So if you want to actually um, disperse some of the colors, you can take the blending solution. I'm going to just put some on here. And as you dabble this on, it tends to break up the color a little bit more and lighten it. So you end up with like a bubble effect, kind of like when you are blowing bubbles and you see the film. But like I said, again, if I didn't like it, I could just erase it all with this too. So that's all you need to do. And then what you would do is, again, if you made it really clear and you want to, you could fill it with candy to give as a gift. And you're just going to screw this back on and finish up your design however you want. And then you have a note or photo holder. So this is great for a party favor if you fill it with candy. And then you make all of these designs. And you can use it as their place card. And you can put a photo of the person and they'll know where to sit. And they'll have their favor. So it's a kind of functional project. So if you want to see more of these glass light bulb projects, just go to the Joy of Crafting blog and we'll have some more designs on. Okay? So right now, I'm going to take a short break so I can finish this up and we'll be right back.